Good morning, guys. We are actually just a couple hours down the road this morning. It's uh, 11 o'clock, but uh, it was downpouring this morning and when I got up, so I didn't really want to go outside. It's still fairly damp out and uh, I wanted to get in, get down here into uh, Alabama and get a shower. So, so we are just going to leave here, just finished up with our shower, getting cleaned up and everything. There's a waddle driver right over there, just got done getting fuel. But uh, we just finished getting cleaned up over here and we are getting ready to uh, head on down to West Point to go get loaded up. <clears throat> Being that it's Easter weekend this weekend, work is pretty, pretty thin. So it looks like uh, right now I'm going to be taking a load down to uh, Sarasota, Florida. That should be a pretty fun run just south of Tampa there, get everything delivered tomorrow and, uh, and make our way back over to... Uh, Brunswick to go get our next load heading back over towards West Point hoping to finish out the week strong kind of had to make a long deadhead from Kentucky all the way back down to uh, to West Point Georgia but we uh, so it is what it is like I said works real thin right now especially with the holiday coming up I just think uh, everything's a bit dead hoping 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 that everything starts getting busier but either way, let's go uh, get some miles done. Let's get on down the road, and I will see you guys over at West Point. Let's go get this load on. All righty, guys. We are getting over here to West Point. We're uh, going to go get our load and start heading down towards Florida. Hopefully, uh, it won't start raining again. I've been able to dodge the rain most of the year so far this year, and I really don't care to have to put my rain suit on. But if we have to, we have to. It is what it is. We'll make the best out of it no matter what. But we got a very, very easy load to put on. Uh, I looked at it earlier. I think there's only two Tellurides and everything else is just small sportages. So should be easy, should be light. Um, that's, uh, can't really ask for an easier load when it comes to that. But we have a three-stopper going down to Bradenton, Sarasota area. Um, I haven't looked up what drops first, what drops second, what drops third. I'll do that once I get into uh, Kia here in just a second. But, uh, yeah, should be pretty good. Um, hopefully none of you are having to deal with the key bridge debacle that happened last night um, with that freighter ship hitting the uh, bridge up there in Maryland and taking it out yeah kind of worried what that's gonna do over there towards the uh, port if we're going to uh, have some issues getting uh, loads in and out of there obviously traffic wise we will but uh, I'm thinking more towards uh, getting the container or getting the uh, freighter ships in and out hauling the cars because obviously you guys know well if you guys didn't know, there is a ton of cars that go in and out of that uh, that Baltimore port area. So uh, fingers crossed that that nothing that doesn't make any kind of major delay. Alrighty, guys, we are getting on the road. We are out of here. We are all loaded up and kind of dry. Um, rain wasn't too horrendous, but. It did come down a couple times dropping sheets of rain on us, but uh, luckily for me, um, I tended to already be in a car. So I was uh, kind of sat through it a couple times that it happened. They were just kind of fleeting showers, and, uh, and I kind of got to dodge it. Now, my feet are a bit soaked, which kind of sucks because I, I, I hate having wet shoes, but it is what it is. Had to get the load on, had to get going. Um, I'm sure you guys understand and you know what that's all about. But either way, guys, we are 463 miles from our first stop down there in Tampa, Florida. So I am getting on the road now. We got a little over five hours of driving, uh, of drive time left. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping I can get most of the way down there. Give ourselves about an hour or two in the morning to get the rest of the way into Tampa. But uh, yeah, it's been a beautiful day. Kind of wished, uh, I, I stopped, the long story short, 
Um, I stopped earlier this morning and kind of spent an hour and a half at the truck stop, getting a shower, grabbing some food, and uh, just getting going uh, earlier. And it kind of hindered me because now my total drive time and or my drive time and my shift time are the same which means i actually my 14 hour clock is what's stopping me because if i would have had the time to do it there's a place that i love 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 to stay at it is right on the coast down there in tampa it is uh where the skyway pier is i have stayed probably uh 50, 60 times over the years right there at the pier. Um, it's been a couple years since I've been down there, but when I used to stay there, um, it was like six or eight bucks to walk onto the pier and walk down, and I would stand there for a couple hours fishing right there on the pier. Love doing it, and if I would have had the time today going to where I'm going, that is exactly where I would have uh, loaded up from and uh or that's exactly where i would have parked tonight and i i would have i got fishing poles with me i always do and uh i would have stopped and did a little pier fishing tonight caught maybe uh i don't know what's running this time of the year maybe some spanish mackerel uh some snappers right there at the bottom of the pier um maybe some sheep's head black drum uh, it, it kind of depends on what's running, and like I said, it's it's been years since I've fished that pier, so I don't know this time of the year what's running, or I don't I, I don't remember what's running. But yeah, if you have ever stayed there, please tell me, um, or if you ever fished there, if you're from that area, um, fill me in, and uh, hey, maybe one of these trips down we can uh, do some fishing together if you fish down there often. But. Either way, guys, I'm going to get some miles done. I'm going to get here uh, down into Florida tonight. I'm hoping to get down towards that Wildwood area. Um, there's a nice uh, nice um, rest area right there before you get to Wildwood. That that's where I'm picturing on making as long as we don't hit any traffic or any delays on the way in, which this late in the afternoon we shouldn't. So fingers crossed we make it there but i'll see you guys as we get down there i'll show you guys what this load looks like tonight when i get parked well definitely didn't make it uh very far down the road we are already stopped hopefully uh this accident's not too bad it kind of looks like it's kind of a nasty one um i've seen two ambulances pull away so far if you guys can see that car right there right in front of the truck it looks like that was part of the accident there so Hopefully everybody's okay, like I said, but we'll get going here in just a minute. Alright guys, we're finally getting on the road. They're finally letting us get rolling here. And, uh, yeah, they ended up taking four ambulances out of here. So hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody ends up alright. Definitely a T-bone accident. And, uh, was not a pretty one. So... Hopefully everybody survives and gets home with their families and there's nothing major that, uh, or no major injuries, just enough that uh, they needed to be transported and they're going to be all right. So thoughts and prayers for those people involved and let's get rolling guys. I will see you as, I'll see you as we get closer to Florida. All right, good morning guys. I took a little video last night um, trying to show what this load looks like but i was in a rest area it was dark and uh it wasn't coming out very well i'm gonna move over for this truck so it, it wasn't it wasn't panning out and uh well this is what i woke up to this morning so sorry but i'm i'm not standing in this to uh to take a video so it does look like it's gonna clear up as we get closer to Tampa, Florida. And uh, when we get closer to there, I will show you what this load looks like. But we're rolling kind of slow. We're only doing about 50 miles an hour right now. You can tell, I mean, you, you can't hardly see. So we are, uh, we're gonna take it slow, take it easy, give ourselves lots of extra stopping room. And uh, yeah, 
as it gets a little nicer out guys i will show you what this load looks like i promise all right guys we finally made it to where it's definitely a little bit warmer and a lot drier than it has been the last couple days so we're happy with that um got the kia dealerships on both sides of the street here i'm assuming they probably get stored over here it looks like there's some cars with wrapping on across the street i'm sure they don't want them on the main parking lot until they've gone through service but uh this is gonna be a quick easy one we are here in tampa florida just dropping these bottom three and then uh, our next stop is bradington which is going to be the next four right here and our last stop is sarasota which gets those two up there nice easy run um we're gonna have this done here shortly today we are rushing because today's goal is we started out in florida at the rest area just north of wildwood and uh, we're trying to get all this off all the way down to sarasota and back up to um brunswick georgia tonight it's gonna push us up like 650 670 miles on the day so we can't screw around at all and uh, we're gonna try to get up there so we can get loaded tonight and uh, get that one off tomorrow and we might be able to salvage this week it's been kind of a crummy one because our north run which should have gotten us up into chicago to get loaded just there wasn't enough work so like you guys saw i had a deadhead all the way back south again not a big deal but it does uh, put a damper on the week kind of wasted an entire day so we are going to try our best to salvage a decent week out of this make it so it doesn't uh it's not a bad paycheck and and right now it looks like we're going to be able to do that we just gotta hustle so i'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up get these things off and i will see y'all in just a minute all righty let's get these things dropped as quick as we can here we're not going to screw around at all on this one so you guys will be able to see um but i got a semi coming which is going to be real fun because it's kind of a tight road right here i'm gonna have to get out of his way in just a second let him go they got cars parked on the side of the road here so just trying to stand out of his way so he can get through. Like, like you guys can tell, this was a very easy load to put on. I only really had one big vehicle, which is that Telluride. Everything else is fairly small. So let's get these things in. Man, everything is covered in sand. I have been in rain this week. This has been a wet week. I've been in rain since Nashville uh, a day and a half ago, so uh, everything is just grimy at this point.
we just get, getting up through Tampa I hit much much more traffic than I expected to so it just ended up having to uh, just just ended up having to park early last night just uh, south of Jacksonville and uh, we we're heading in this morning but guys I greatly appreciate you watching the videos and uh, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already please help me please help me grow this channel and get it out to more people the more likes these videos get the more you guys watch them the more these videos go out to every or go out to more people so guys I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family and I will see you on the next one thanks